Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at doing what we call a paired t-test and this is going to be based on matched pair. A matched pair sample is characterized by a measurement, some intervention of some type, and then another measurement. And we generally refer to this type of experiments as a before and after. So this is a good example of what we talk about in terms of matched pair. I have 50 participants who all quit smoking. The study was looking to determine if the amount of weight that people gained six months after quitting smoking was more than five pounds. And so we have this before and this after. So each observation is the same participant, just at two different points in time. What we're really looking for is the mean difference. So when we talk about the mean difference, we're simply saying mu of d. And where we think of d as simply being represented by x1 minus x2. So our hypothesis in this case will be that the mean difference is greater than or equal to 5 pounds and the alternative will be that the mean difference is less than 5 pounds. We're going to test at a, 90, at a 0.05 level of significance so our alpha is 0.05. And we don't have to worry about normal distribution because our n is equal to 50 and that meets the criteria for large sample under the central limit theorem. So we're going to use the data analysis tool in order to make this happen. So I've come up to data, I've gone all the way to the right and gotten my data analysis dialog box. I'm going to scroll through here and I want to t-test with a paired to sample for the mean and I'll say OK. So I want to know if they had gained more weight after. So I'm going to use after as my first um, variable. That's going to be my x1. So that's going to be in column C2 and I'm going to hit function F4 to make that a hard cell reference and it's going to C51 function F4 hard cell reference and then there before was in B2 function F4 to B51 function F4 and that just gives me that hard cell reference and we said that the hypothesized mean difference was 5 we're going to test at an alpha 0.05 and then I'm going to put my output range I'm going to put it right here so that we can see it right next to our data. Um, everything's good there. I'm going to hit OK. Make this a little bit bigger. And then variable 1 was our weight after. Variable 2 was the weight before. So we can see that there's a difference in the mean. But what we have to determine is, is that a statistically significant um, difference in the mean. So we see our calculated T statistic here is 1.88. Um, our critical value is 1.676. So we know that our T statistic is larger than my critical value, which means that's a big old reject decision. And then if we look at our p-value, our p-value is 0.03. So we have a p-value of 0 0.03. We have alpha equal to 0 0.05. p is less than alpha. And remember, when p is low, HO must go. So we are going to reject HO and we are going to say that the mean difference of weight gain is not 
greater than five pounds. It's actually probably less than five pounds. And it's simply the matter that although these two means appear to be larger than five pounds apart, statistically there is no five pound increase in weight pre-smoking and post-smoking. As always, I hope that you found this helpful and thanks for watching.